Let's go, Lee. Woo. Oh, man, let's go. What? Woo. All right, Triple OG, hit that. Okay, Grandmaster, let's go. Woo! Hey. Let's go, Tim Master Mike. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Mike. Woo! With the hat, though. With the hat. Oh, he just keeps moving. Okay. okay. There's like a lot of people in the hood where Jit really like got us out of the mud. It kept us busy, yeah, it kept us look like, it, it's one of those things, since it's so much into it, it keeps you focused. And like Red says, it makes you not want to stop. So you, you're looking at the next person and you're like, I want to get better than him. I want to get better. I'm going to beat him next time. It's a very passionate dance, but it's also, it's a dance that makes you, it's a, it's a, it's a gritty dance. So when somebody beats you, you get a feeling that makes you want to work hard because you want to come at them. So I had this guy here teaching me, showing up in my school, beating me, killing me, killing everybody, massively. So talk to me. Just you know, just give me a little. You know, this question is more of a just like you've been in the game for a long time, and I would love to just have you share. You know, the progression of like your experiences with it and what it's done for you. It's so much I can say because I've been in this for so long. It changed my life all the way around. It's been a long time, but when I started, what made me get into it was this guy named Bisco Joe Ballard, uh one of my mentors at the time named Stone. Man, that was an epic battle. And I was just, I was a breaker. I didn't really know too much about it. Yeah, I seen it. My cousin did it. I tried it, it was horrible, horrible. But when you keep trying, you end up picking it up. It's pretty easy. Well, when I started jitting, it was it was a a hood thing. It was me and my homies. We was on the street, we on the block doing it on the corner, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna say what we was doing on the corner, I'm gonna keep that under wraps, but we was on the corner playing loud music, grandma telling us to get in the house, you know? And we used to end up getting in a lot of trouble being out in the streets. So when I decided to join a group, that started keeping me out the streets. So I was actually jet before I joined the group. And it was more of a street dance. We would be on the block doing knucklehead stuff at the same time, having fun. But, and when I got into jet and started getting into groups, that's when that just started to change my life because I started to incorporate other people and started to dedicate myself to it. That way I wouldn't have other distractions like smoking weed, drinking. And I would still go to parties because that's where the jit was, you know. And Friday night, <clears throat> dance we come on the radio. I was, what, 15? When they old enough to get in there, my homeboy knew the bouncer named Big Meech, R.I.P. Big Meech. He up in heaven right now, the ghost dancers. Yeah, man. I'm glad he, where he at? My cousin, I'm glad he keeping it going, man. Keep teaching the kids, keep doing what you're doing, man. Love you, buddy. And Lamar, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna bust your way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's my little bro. You know, I gotta be on him, I keep him on his toes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. I love this craft. I learned how to bug from watching adversaries. You know what I'm saying? Go at it. And that's what made, that's what make me better. I said, 
I look at people and I, just like he said, I want to be better than him. You know what I'm saying? He, he's one of the coldest guys I've ever seen. I, I, and people want to say, like, it's all about the competition. When really the competition is more like a brotherhood. Because you want to see that other guy dance. You, they be like, you want to battle? You want to battle? Y'all really don't care. You will. You was pulling him out in the circle because you, you wanted to see him dance. You you, you, you not only as op, you his biggest fan. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> that that's just pretty much it. I don't got much to say. I'm ready to bug. <laughs>